Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And I welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we're in Matthew 7, 7 through 14. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Matthew 14. Oh, I'm sorry. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. But because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are a few who find it. Okay. <clears throat> the road to eternal life, um, it's narrow, but on that road is ask and seek and knock. On that road is what you want others to do to you, that's what you do to them. Uh, now, I don't mind taking verses like 13 and 14 by themselves to make a point, but Within the context of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus has been laying out two paths. The path of the kingdom of God and the path of the kingdom of mammon. And uh, asking, seeking, knocking. Where was the last time we saw seek? Well, we saw seek in chapter 6, verse 33, right? Seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. Then Jesus tells us then about, you know, if you ask your father for the good things, he'll give you good things when you ask him. And so as you start to connect these across, this isn't just random ask, seek, knock. This is how you live the path of the straight and narrow way. The broad way the way that many are going in at it. Um, New Revised Standard for, you know, says easy is the road. It's an easy road to destruction. <clears throat> for most people, walking in the flesh is easier than walking in the spirit. Walking by sight is easier than walking by faith. Now, once you get there, once you get to the place of walking by faith, walking in the Spirit, doing the things, you know, that, that Scripture's talking about, especially in, in the New Covenant, uh, there's a tremendous, tremendous amount of power and capability there. But it requires work and diligence. Um, faith is not easy. Anybody who says faith is easy, faith is not easy. Faith is easy for some people when they very first get converted and then everybody around them in the churches teach them how everything, you know, doesn't work. And so that's when Jesus says, you know, except you, you know, have faith unless you're like one of these little ones. Well, little kids, uh, you know, there's certain things where they operate by faith just as a matter of course. Um, so in that sense, it's easy. What makes it hard then? Like so many things, by the time you figure out that the way you had it 10 years ago was the way you should have kept it, you've now reconditioned your thoughts, your words, your actions, so that getting back to that point, it's tough. And this is why what Jesus says here, his crowd knew the truth of it. They understood the simplicity of it. They understood that. But they had lived their, their, their lives so long, not just under the law of Moses, but also under the tradition of the Jewish elders and all the made-up rules of the rabbis, that most of them had a hard time adapting to what Jesus is talking about, being conformed to this. And so the road to blessing isn't, as we said last week, some people say pray like everything depends on God. 
work like everything depends on you. No, ask, seek, and knock, because everything depends on you and God. Notice how in the ask, seek, knock thing, it's not just you and it's not just God. It's a both and. Mm -hmm. So, all right. With that, Tyler, you have anything else this morning? No, sir. All right. Lord willing, we'll see you tonight. Have a great day.